How to Get Rid of Wet Dog Smell, Expert Guide If you're having a hard time with lingering wet dog smell in your home, don't despair if we've got the scoop on how to get rid of wet dog smell once and for all. But first, what are the tools and materials you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get rid of that awful smell. Get rid of it! Identify the causes. Wet dog smell can be caused by any of, or a combination of, damp fur, bacteria, certain foods or diet, and poor coat hygiene. Damp fur can be caused by excessive sweating or not being properly dried off after being outside in the rain or snow. Bacteria can often accumulate on a dog's coat, especially if it's not bathed regularly and brushed thoroughly. Certain foods or diets may also cause an unpleasant odor if they are too high in fat or protein content, as this could lead to digestion problems. Finally, Poor coat hygiene can cause a bad odor as dirt and debris build up on the fur over time. To identify the causes of the wet dog smell, check for any signs of infection, such as wounds or missing fur, that could be causing an odor. In addition, inspect your pet's food to make sure it's the right one for them, it's not expired or hasn't gone bad before feeding it to your dog. Bathe and groom your dog. To bathe and groom your dog to get rid of wet dog smell, follow these steps. Step 1. Brush your dog's coat before bathing to remove any tangles and mats. This will also help distribute the shampoo evenly when you're washing your dog. Brushing your dog regularly can reduce the amount of dirt and oil that builds up in their fur. Such dirt and oil buildup can be the cause of bad smells. Also, it's an important step in maintaining its overall health and appearance. However, the specific steps for brushing a dog's coat can vary depending on the type of coat they have. Here are some general guidelines for brushing different coat types. 1. Short-haired coat A short-haired coat is relatively easy to brush. Use a rubber curry brush or a slicker brush to remove any dirt or loose hair. Start at the head and work your way down to the tail, brushing in the direction of hair growth. Be sure to pay extra attention to any areas where your dog may have tangles or mats. 2. Medium Haired Coat A medium haired coat may require more attention than a short haired coat. Use a slicker brush to remove tangles and mats. Start at the head and work your way down to the tail, brushing in the direction of hair growth. Use a metal comb to work out any remaining tangles or mats. 3. Long-Haired Coat Long-Haired Coats require the most attention and regular grooming. Apart from the degree of attention and grooming frequency required, the process of brushing long-haired coat dogs is the same as brushing medium-haired coat dogs. 4. Curly Coat Curly-haired breeds require regular grooming to prevent matting. To brush curly coat breeds, follow the same process as brushing medium haired coat dogs. 5. Double coated breeds. Double coated breeds like German Shepherds and Golden Retrievers have an undercoat and top coat. Brush the top coat with a slicker brush and use a metal comb to remove tangles and mats from the undercoat. Brush in the direction of hair growth, starting at the head and working your way down to the tail. 6. Wire-haired breeds Wire-haired breeds like terriers have harsh, wiry coats. Use a slicker brush or a pin brush to remove tangles and mats, and use a metal comb to work out any remaining tangles or mats. Brush in the direction of hair growth, starting at the head and working your way down to the tail. Note It's important to be gentle when brushing your dog's coat to avoid causing them discomfort or pain. Also, if you notice any signs of skin irritation, such as redness or itching, it's best to consult a veterinarian. Step 2. Wet your dog's coat thoroughly using warm water. It's recommended to bathe your dog with warm water instead of hot or cold water for these reasons. 1. Warm water is more comfortable for your dog. Dogs have a different temperature regulation system than humans, and they may find hot or cold water uncomfortable. 
Warm water is more comfortable for them and will make the bathing experience more pleasant for them. 2. Warm water helps to open the pores. Warm water can help open the pores on your dog's skin. This allows the shampoo to penetrate more effectively and remove dirt, oils, and odors. Hot water can dry out the skin while cold water may not have the same effect of opening the pores. 3. Warm water is less drying. Hot water can strip the natural oils from your dog's coat and skin, which can leave them feeling dry and itchy. Warm water is less drying and will help maintain the natural moisture balance of your dog's skin and coat. 4. Warm water is safer. Hot water can burn your dog's skin, and cold water can cause them to shiver, which can make them uncomfortable and anxious during the bathing process. It's important to avoid getting water in your dog's ears or eyes, as this can cause discomfort and even infection. Step 3. Apply a dog-specific shampoo to your dog's coat. To apply a dog-specific shampoo to your dog's coat, here are the detailed steps to follow. 1. Begin by wetting your dog's coat thoroughly with warm water. Be sure to avoid getting water in their ears or eyes. 2. Pour the shampoo into your hand or onto a washcloth. 3. Start at the head and work your way down to the tail, applying the shampoo to your dog's coat. 4. Use your fingers or a washcloth to work the shampoo into your dog's coat, making sure to pay extra attention to any areas where your dog may have a strong odor or tangles. 5. Lather the shampoo well by massaging it into the coat for about 3 to 5 minutes. 6. Be sure to avoid getting shampoo in your dog's eyes, ears, or nose. It's important to use a shampoo that is specifically designed for dogs and avoid human shampoo, which can dry out your dog's skin and cause irritation. Examples of recommended dog-specific shampoos are 1. Burt's Bees for Dogs Deodorizing Shampoo 2. Pet Head Life's and Itch Deodorizing Shampoo 3. F. Your Minute Deodorizing Waterless Spray Shampoo it's important to read the label of the shampoo before use to ensure that the ingredients are safe for your dog and to avoid any shampoos that contain harsh chemicals or fragrances. Furthermore, it's important to follow the instructions on the label of the shampoo to avoid using too much or too little shampoo. Finally, it's best to visit a vet if you notice any signs of skin irritation. Step 4. Rinse your dog's coat thoroughly to remove all traces of shampoo. To thoroughly rinse your dog's coat, here are the detailed steps to follow. 1. Begin by wetting your dog's coat again with warm water. This will help loosen and remove any remaining shampoo from their coat. 2. Start at the head and work your way down to the tail, rinsing thoroughly with warm water. Be sure to pay extra attention to any areas where you applied the shampoo, such as the underbelly, paws, and behind the ears. 3. Use a cup or pitcher to pour water over your dog's coat, making sure to saturate its coat completely. 4. Use your hands to gently massage your dog's coat to help remove any remaining shampoo. 5. Repeat the rinsing process until the water runs clear and you no longer see any suds or foam on your dog's coat. This is an indication that all the shampoo has been removed. It's important to rinse thoroughly to ensure that all traces of shampoo are removed, as any remaining shampoo can cause skin irritation and leave a residue that can contribute to the wet dog smell. Step 5. Dry your dog off with a towel and a blow dryer on a low setting. It's important to dry your dog thoroughly to prevent the growth of bacteria that can contribute to the wet dog smell. Here are the detailed steps to follow. 1. Begin by using a large, absorbent towel to blot your dog's coat to remove as much water as possible. Be sure to pay extra attention to areas that tend to hold water, such as the underbelly, paws, and behind the ears. 2. Gently rub the towel over your dog's coat to remove more water. 3. Use a separate, dry towel to dry your dog's ears and the inside of their ears as well as the area around their eyes. 4. After you've removed as much water as possible with the towel, use a blow dryer on a low setting to dry your dog's coat completely. 
Be sure to hold the dryer at least 12 inches away from your dog's skin to avoid burning them. 5. Brush your dog's coat while you dry them to remove any tangles and mats. 6. Give your dog a final brush to remove any loose hair. Refer to the directions provided earlier in this video on how to brush different types of dog coats. Note. Also, it's a good idea to start grooming your dog from a young age so that they will be more comfortable with it as they grow older. If your dog still has a wet smell after doing these steps, it might be a medical issue and it's best to check with a vet. Eliminate the smell from your home. Apart from cleaning your dog, there are other things you have to pay attention to in order to eliminate the wet dog smell from your home. Furniture, carpet, and other items in your home might have come in contact with your dog while they were smelling. For specific guides to help you get rid of dog smell on your furniture, carpet, dog blanket, and more, check the playlist. How to get rid of dog smell. But for now, here's an overview of other steps you have to take to get rid of wet dog smell from your home. Step 1. Find other sources of the smell. It could be your dog's beddings or an area of your home where they spend a lot of time. Step 2. Clean and sanitize your dog's beddings. Wash them in hot water with laundry detergent and add white vinegar to the rinse cycle. For detailed steps on how to do this, check one of our other videos. How to get dog smell out of blankets, detailed guide. Step 3. Vacuum and mop the floors of your home to remove any dirt or hair that may be contributing to the smell. Step 4. Clean any surfaces that your dog may have come into contact with, such as furniture or carpets. Use an enzymatic cleaner specifically designed for pet odors. Step 5. Use air purifiers or deodorizers to help remove the smell from the air. It's important to note that the effectiveness of an air purifier may depend on the size of the room, the type of filter used, and the type of pet you have. A larger room or a room with multiple pets may require a more powerful air purifier. It also helps if you open windows and use fans to improve the ventilation and airflow in your home. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If so, Please like, share, and comment to let me know what you thought. Your feedback is important to me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.